Save Our Planet. Brazilian bank and U.S. hotel chain contribute to protect Amazon rainforest. A preservation project set up by the Foundation for a Sustainable Amazon to mitigate global warming has garnered a two million U.S. dollar donation from the U.S.-based Marriott hotel chain and 9.4 million U.S. dollars each from Brazil's Bradesco Bank and the Amazon state government. The project has a goal of protecting the 41 million acres of Amazonian forest managed by the foundation while offsetting carbon emissions for Marriott's operations. Bravo, Bradesco Bank, Amazon state government, Marriott and Foundation for a Sustainable Amazon for your partnership in this innovative eco-project. We wish you every success in safeguarding vital forests to ensure the survival of our precious planet. Study reveals species most at risk from global warming. In research conducted by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, or IUCN, 90 biological traits were identified to classify species according to traits that raise their susceptibility to changes in climate. Almost 35% of the world's birds, 52% of amphibians, and 71% of warm water, reef-building coral species have at least one out of 11 traits that could make them susceptible to climate change. As a first assessment of its kind, IUCN is hopeful that this classification system will help conservation personnel better apprise the global warming risk to different species. We thank you, International Union for the Conservation of Nature, for this important study. May our respect for all life be reflected through such actions as the plant-based diet to restore the resiliency of our fellow beings and our biosphere. Over 700,000 Australian homes in danger of being submerged. The Australian Department of Climate Change says that up to 80% of Australians will be affected by rising sea levels given the close proximity of their residences to the ocean. The department warned it is estimated that erodible coasts will receive one meter for every one centimeter rise in sea level. Storm surges will exacerbate coastal erosion. Meanwhile, various scientific predictions say the sea level may rise up to several meters as time goes on. Our thanks for sharing of this vital information, Department of Climate Change and Australia. We pray that alarming scenarios such as these may be avoided through switching to sustainable lifestyles such as the plant-based diet. Project to protect Senegal's mangroves. To address the rapid decline in southern Senegal's vital mangrove population, the nonprofit organization Oceanium launched a replanting project involving some 15,000 ewes from 130 villages. Over a two-month period, the youths planted six million mangrove trees, which are considered vital as habitat for both fish and migrating birds, as well as preventing coastal erosion and flooding. Oceanium spokesperson Benito Diagna said that this project was intended to revive the mangrove ecosystem, raise people's awareness about sustainability, and restore livelihoods in coastal communities. Local environmental groups are also advocating for the implementation of national laws to preserve the mangroves. Oceanium, environmentalist and noble volunteer use, we express our heartfelt appreciation for your dedication to this noble cause. May we all strive to serve to be loving guardians of our environment. American Museum of Natural History opens climate change exhibit in New York. Conceived by museum curator Dr. Edmund Mathes, together with U.S. geoscientist Dr. Michael Oppenheimer, and designed in collaboration with many other museums and scientific organizations worldwide, the exhibit's main goal is to address concerns of those who remain skeptical that global warming is caused by humans, as well as show the dire nature of the planet's current state. Museum President Ellen Futter said, There is now overwhelming scientific consensus. Ninety percent of scientists agree that there is an urgent need to address the problem. And so we can measure quite clearly with the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere that this is recently added carbon dioxide. And if you add up the numbers from uh, a variety of sources, we've got the pollution from the burning of forest, we have the pollution from the increased uh, agriculture going on, and that also includes, of course, the increase of uh, cattle herds around the world because they also add to the global warming situation with their methane gas releases. Titled Climate Change, the Threat to Life in a New Energy Future, the exhibit features interactive displays where visitors can view changes currently impacting the globe as well as pledge Earth-friendly actions such as recycling or bicycling to work. 
After New York, the exhibit will travel to Europe, Asia, the Middle East, Mexico, and South America. It is a serious concern, and、uh, we need to do something, especially for our future generations, to make sure it doesn't get in a runaway crisis situation. Our warm accolades and many thanks, American Museum of Natural History and Drs. Mathis and Oppenheimer, for this innovative way to share the science behind global warming. May your exhibit move many towards actions that support a renewed flourishing of life on our planet. Long appreciated in Asia for its many interior design applications, the giant bamboo is now receiving more attention in Europe as an attractive and environmentally friendly alternative to hardwoods. Argentina has become the first country to require eco insurance for companies whose operations are potentially hazardous to the environment.